All right, so I got my workpiece all set up. I've got it glued and taped down, also with some clamps and a sacrificial board underneath. I've got my three quarters of an inch bowl bit in here. I have the X, Y, zero in this lower left corner. I use the touch probe upside down to hit my Z. We are all set to cut. Alright guys, so as you can see, the very last pass leaves some ridges left behind by the bowl bit. So I'm going to bring you inside to the laptop, I'm going to show you how to clean that up. So here's my original file. The pocket here on the left, when I highlight that, my depth is 0.69. What I want to do is change that, so I will make that a 0.72. That will make that pocket slightly deeper, which should help clean out those ridges. If you look over here on the preview screen on the right, if I hit simulate, you can see it'll take four minutes. So if I come up here to machine, general settings, my step over is 40%, meaning the bit will make one pass, jog over 40%, and make another pass. I'm actually going to change that to 5%. So then if I close out of here, come back over to this right screen, simulate, you can see 22 minutes. And you can see how many more passes this is going to take. That's going to leave that bottom glass smooth. All right, so then the final thing we need to do is come over to cut settings. My original cut setting was 0.08. I want to match my depth, same as the other side that I set, so that was 0.72. So what this will tell the bit to do is to go down 0.72, one full depth, plunge all the way down, do that slight step over, clear out the whole bottom, and then come out. So if we come over here to simulate, it will do that. We can come over to... We can erase the material. Okay, so I will hit play and you'll see the bit will go over. It'll plunge down to full depth and then it'll start clearing out all the material. There it goes. Cleans out all the material. Again, 5% step over, so it's going to make a lot of passes. Once it finally clears everything out, it'll reverse back up. Go back to home and there we have it. We should have a perfectly smooth bottom. All right, let me show you this final pass here as you can see this thing is perfectly smooth you can actually see the light shining off of it there this is exactly what we want minimal sanding if any at all now I'll set this up for the cutout here's the finished tray this is about seven and a quarter inches in diameter. This particular tray is made out of Paduke. You can put your wallet, your keys, cell phone, whatever you want in there. It's about one inch thick. You can see that nice cove there around the corner makes it easier to get your possessions in and out of there. Thank you for watching. If you think I did a good job, please give me a thumbs up. And until next time, take it easy.